Mission at number five, four, five. Mm. I think mean, it's five. As I said in my last video, blah, blah, blah. Hey guys, it's Jay, and I'm here with my 2016 booktube resolutions and goals. Just want to say Happy New Year to everybody. I hope you're having a great start to your new year. It's only like nine days in or something, but I hope those nine days were flippin' fantabulous. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> My first booktube resolution goal thingamabob is to read at least 50 books this year. Last year I set the same goal on Goodreads, but I only hit 42 books. Which I know is not a big deal, but to me I was like, I'm gonna get these 50 books, and then I didn't get these 50 books, so I was kind of like disappointed in myself, you know, because I set this goal, and I did not follow through with it. And it was like my only goal last year, because it was my first year on booktube, so I was like, you know what, we're gonna do this, we're gonna get 50 books, and I only got 42. 45 books into that 50 goal, so I mean, we're like... 5% in? I don't do math, I don't know what it actually is, but I'm already 5 books in, so, and it's only the ninth. Goal number 2 for me is to read more than just YA this year. I think a lot of the books that I read last year were YA contemporary, because that's what I'm comfortable with. So I'm hoping to push my boundaries this year, and to pick up more, like, well, anything other than YA contemporary, because that's, like, all I read. I have, like, a ton of books that I'm supposed to read from authors and Goodreads and all that jazz, and they're not all YA contemporary, so hopefully that will help me on this little goal that I've set for myself. Goal number three is going to be to try audiobooks. Since I'm in university now, I don't really have a lot of time to just sit there and read, so my thoughts were if I start listening to audiobooks, I can put them in when I'm going to class or on the subway or whatever, and it'll be a lot easier than having to carry this book around with me, which I probably won't take out and read. So if I have the audiobooks, I'll actually listen to them, because I listen to music when I walk everywhere. So it'll be pretty much the exact same thing, but I'll have a book read. It's a great win-win situation for me. Just My fourth goal is going to be to read at least one book a month, whether it be really short, like a short story, 26 pages, or if it be really long, whatever I'm feeling that month, even though I'm in school, I'm going to get at least one book read every month. That's my goal. I don't know if it's going to happen because I don't know how crazy my classes are going to be this year. Hopefully I can get it done. Fingers crossed. I'm really, 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 really hoping I can do that one because I hate not being able to put anything up at the end of the month and being like, I read zero books. <laughs> Sorry. Like, it sucks. Resolution at number five is going to be that I can only buy four books every four months. So this is going to be either all at once or between the four months. I don't care, but only four every four months. It's probably gonna be really hard for me because I have a book buying addiction and I'm sure everyone can relate to me when I say this, but if I see a book I want, I'm gonna buy it. And I need self-control this year because as I said in my last video, your girl on a budget and your girl has a million books that she needs to read, so she doesn't really need to buy any more books, but she has an addiction so she probably will, but the goal is not to. We're gonna see how it goes. I don't know how well it's gonna turn out, but fingers crossed for that one too. And then goal number six is going to be to finish the series that I put into the top five series video, which I will link down below if you want to check that out. It was my last video. My goal is to actually finish and read those series. I know this is going to be a huge stretch for me because I'm probably not going to read them because they are ginormous and they terrify me. But, again, fingers crossed that I can actually do it. We'll see how it goes. That's it for this video. Leave a comment down below telling me your 2016 goals and booktube resolutions and whatever else you want to tell me down below, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye! This year's my year, people. My year.